Hey everybody and welcome to Hardcore Heroes. Sorry about the late start time. I'll take full responsibility for that. You can hashtag blame Neil. How are you guys doing today? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I, uh, I finished Fire Emblem, the Blazing Sword run. Mm -hmm. uh, that game was pretty solid. It got me excited for the series in general, so I'm doing a challenge run of Awakening now for uh, no second seals, so no reclassing or resetting your level to grind. Uh, no grinding and no DLC. Just it's harder. What year was this Fire yes. Emblem that you're playing released? Uh, I think it was 2004, something like that. It was a Game Boy Advance game. It's Awakening, Blazing, right? No. Uh, Awakening is no. the new one. Blazing yeah. Sword is the one that I just Blazing played. Sword. Awakening is the 2011 one, but uh, one of the newer ones for the 3DS. Yeah. And really, no second seal. You know, you're throwing away one of the best units in the game, Donald. Oh, I hate Donald anyways. I'm, I'm probably not Why? even going to recruit him. Uh, he's, he's annoying. Uh, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like the characters in general in Awakening. Like it's a fun game, but the writing really got to me in that game. I mean, some of the characters are nice. Others, uh, yeah. yeah. It's um. I don't know. I, I really liked Blazing Sword. I thought it was a good game and would recommend it. And then aside from that, I've just played some uh, some For Honor, which Ooh, yeah. I, I did. I, I know I talked to you about this last night, Fashion, but I'm. The only thing that would get me to pick it up at this point is the Spear Lady, because she's actually really fun to play. And that's the only class I have enjoyed in that game so far. I, I hate people. I, I said to you, to you too, I hate people who are good with her, just because yeah. she can change directions so easily. And I don't like the bleed damage, because it's kind of bullshit. It's, it's even worse on the Assassin, though, the yeah. bleed. But, um, yeah, no, I, it's a little bit like Mountain Blade for lobotomized people. It's a little bit simplistic, I feel. Mm, I don't know. I don't think it's... Mm, s I think Mountain Blade is more simple. In the combat system in Mountain Blade, you... I, I, think it's, I think it is more simple in terms of the, the breadth of its mechanics, but I think it has a little bit more depth to it. Whereas uh, it feels a little bit more like you just kind of play rock, paper... Not, it's not like rock, paper, scissors, and you lose. It's a little bit more like... Um, I don't know how to describe it. But it feels a little bit more straightforward in its gameplay. Like you don't have a you don't have as wide a list of mechanics in Warband, but I feel like you have more ways to exploit it and break it. I mean, I like For Honor probably more than you do. Just I just enjoy the combat. <laughs> that's, that's very likely. <laughs> yeah, I just enjoy the combat. I mean, I'm playing the Warlord. It's <laughs> it's funny. Um, I'm in the Samurai faction, but I'm only playing Vikings. Yeah. Um, I joined Knights and then realized that all the Knights feel terrible to play. <laughs> Except the Conqueror, but he's a little too slow for me. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm playing a sword and board uh, style your character, so mm -hmm. I enjoy it. But just because you are, if you're getting crowded, which is likely in the demos with more people, you can actually hold out. And yeah. I once had a combat one with a three and I beat all three of them just because you have to learn the game if you're surrounding someone ju don't just wail on them because yeah. there's a the revenge mechanic will screw yeah, you if the you try revenge it mechanic. if you are crowd getting crowded by more people you your revenge meter fills if it's filled you gain a shield a damage bonus your attacks are unstoppable yeah i feel like the uh, I'll, I'll keep it quick so that I don't spend like 20 minutes whining about For Honor, but <laughs> the Revenge Mechanic feels like a very band-aid solution to the to the issue mm -hmm. of 2v1s and 3v1s being really, like, just poorly designed because of the way the guard mechanic works. Mm -hmm. Like, in Mountain Blade, mm -hmm. 2v1s and 3v1s were extremely hard, but if you had your positioning right, you could you could reasonably do it. Like, it was it was doable. If you outplayed people, you could you, very easily 2v1 You people. mean run backwards while blocking and... Uh, uh, for no, strafe around them, because, um... I had so many instances where somebody would try and swing at me, and I'd step around the uh, the other person they were fighting with, and they'd accidentally hit their friend and do damage oh, no, to him. I mean, in Mountain Blade, uh, the, in Mountain Blade, uh, where you have a whole army following you, and you just oh oh single player, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that single player though. You just you just backpedal as you go down with the axe and kill all the AI. <laughs> well, oh, uh, yeah. I like Fauna, but. Yeah, I it's it's I fun, but I don't know if it's a sixty dollar purchase. No, no, I I would say it's not worth sixty dollars. Sixty dollars, well, mm. sixty euros. And and what I have to say, what is uh, missing from the game, which I know just really heavily, is music. You have 
I mean, you have this epic battle mode. You have all the atmosphere, soldiers on the battlefield. Your characters, are, animations, are, and sound design is excellent. You have no epic music in the background, just drums or something. Yeah. And that's missing. You want this epic atmosphere, then put epic music behind it. Yeah. Nick, what about you? <laughs> yeah, you look. Is everything okay, Nick? You look very serious. Yeah, I feel serious. Not. No, I'm alright. I was just uh, being quiet. I am um, into work like usual. I don't know if you ever played Crusader Kings after I told you, Neil, but I've been playing that one game on that for like the last 30 hours. I slept in between for a bit, but <laughs> playing Crusader Kings a lot. It's a lot of Crusader Kings. Yeah, it's really good. I, st I don't know if you know the island I'm talking about, right? But like uh, west of Italy, it's like these two islands in the middle of the Mediterranean. Yeah. So I'm playing on this island, like the count on this island, and he's not a legion to the king of Italy. I'm just like chilling, trying to build my power over there. But then the the king of Italy marries his oldest daughter to some son of the Byzantine Empire, and he's like an Orthodox Christian. And then the Byzantines assassinated his oldest son, so the the daughter who had married the Greek became the king of Italy and, and converted the whole of Italy to Orthodox Christianity. Whilst I'm sitting there on my little island supporting Catholicism, <laughs> he attacks the Pope, deposes the Pope from Rome. Right, so I, I conquered some of Tunisia and Africa, built up a power base, swore fealty to the King of Italy, and then from inside the kingdom, made a bid for the throne myself, and now I'm King of Italy and restoring Catholicism, and killing all the Orthodox families. Pretty good. Jesus. Oh, Crusader Kings. I thought you said Stronghold Crusaders, and I was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. Crusader Kings is like the coolest game. I, yeah. I forget how much I love it every time I play it. You can just get lost um. in it for hours and hours and hours. I mean, that's that's the thing with Paradox strategy games. If if they hook you, they hook you. Yeah. yeah. It won't stop for the next few hours. Uh, I, I love seeing like things play out over the course mm -hmm. of like generations. So like like mm -hmm. you might make this marriage full well knowing it's going to take like 150 years for that to sort of pay off tactically, but then you'll have a claim on the kingdom of Bavaria, so you can sort of go to war with them in 150 years. It's great. <laughs> yeah. It, I, like I, I heard somebody say that the big replay value for it comes in for um, like you always have a plan for what you want to do to like secure your lineage but then you have some like random son who's completely insane and screws up everything you've been working for and you have to come up yeah. with a backup plan because he's just ruined everything by murdering his brother or something just so much shit goes wrong the game's really good at like foiling even the best laid plans with like random stuff it's great yeah. Yeah, I, I always think it's great for streamers because no two games are the same but I tried to get Nail to play it, but he never, he never did. <laughs> you it, know, it, I did, it, it seems really hard to get into. There are a lot of good games out there. There are a lot of really good games out there, and I've got a pretty addicted, focused gaming I know, lifestyle. But you, you play so much Total War that it's it's very, in a, it's in a similar vein to that. You know, I've always liked Total War as well. Like it's mm -hmm. it's very it's quite similar. Well, I think Neil enjoys the battles in Total War so much. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Maybe, maybe one day. Maybe I after mean, I'm done Neil, with XCOM. Neil, Neil invented the famous strategy of skewer, making the enemy spear useless by screwing your horses on it. So. That is not my strategy. My strategy is to dismount all of my horsemen right when they're approaching the enemy. <laughs> because they're more useful on the ground with their horses as cover. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, but that's... I'll, the reason I was playing CK Heroes is because I need to brush up on my feudal uh, feudal knowledge for what I'm going to be barring this episode. Ah. <laughs> Malachi King. Yeah, that's right. Give me 150 years. <laughs> um, what about oh, you, man. Bastion? I know we already touched on you with some games, but anything else going on for you this week? I finally sent my application for acting school, so Ooh. I will see. Oh, well, well, that's uh, for, for a test semester, they offer this, that uh, service. We'll have my, uh, oh, shit. have a talk with them uh, on the 20th? Yeah, 20th. Is this February. like a, is this theater acting or like film acting? Uh, just acting school in general. Okay. It's everything that comes with acting. So physical right. acting, uh, of course. Uh, for example, even dancing is a part of it, uh, self-defense yeah. and com uh, com combat on stage. Yeah. 
I, I have a friend who uh, went to art school and was majoring in theater, and yeah, she did a lot of dance classes. Um, it does yeah. everyone ignore the broken overlays? Um, I'm fixing them. Sorry, keep talking, guys. All, everything's broken, but it'll be fixed. Oh in my moment. god, you're impossible. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, but nothing else. Nothing else. Not really. Do you actually want to want to be an Asta, an actor, Bastion? Asta. We'll have to see. I mean, it's it's the direction I probably enjoy most because yeah. I enjoy playing. You well, know, I probably notice it most by playing role-playing games like Dungeons and Dragons. I like uh, acting characters, either yeah. as a DM or as a player, which I don't get to play as often. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. mostly DM for my groups, and. I'm currently uh, playing a character in this collaboration Chucky has with m multiple groups and I'm really enjoying it because he is not Malachi, he's probably more straightforward than Malachi, but similar. He's also kind of chaotic neutral, but mm. he has plans, he has great plans, grand plans. Indeed. Well, uh, let's hop into recap mode. Um, oh, what up? happened last week? It was kind of an important week. Yeah. Um, Some stuff went down. We killed everyone. Yeah, so we got out of Redport. We got the hell out of Redport and okay. went to uh, to Rockwave. We well, we started in Clydesdale, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. We, we met up in Clydesdale after making a narrow escape from Redport. Mm -hmm. uh, we managed to get past the uh, the guard, despite you know our our identities. Not, I don't think they had names on us, but they had general descriptions. But we managed to uh, get past the guards, anyways, and uh, we made a break down to Rockwave. Uh, and once we got down to Rockwave, we noticed that rumors were kind of getting a little bit stretched thin. Like they were getting a little bit more wild and fantastical the further away from Redport we got. Yeah. Um, we got to report and secured a ship back down to Shirebrook because we wanted to check on check in on what was going on in Shirebrook uh, because we'd heard that the ship that the Count had sent to uh, to put new management in Shirebrook had never arrived. But instead, a different ship had arrived much later. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, dun, dun, we, dun. we did arrive in Shirebrook and noticed that it wasn't going too bad in town. I think you told us most of the refugees moved on. Kind of uh, were able to come by, and we heard that the count appointed. I think it was Baron Two Towers. Now Baron Two Towers. Twin, Twin Towers. Towers. Twin Towers. Twin Towers. Um, yeah. awesome. As the Baron of uh, Shirebrook, and um, he sent a delegation with uh, a dwarf um, to Shirebrook overland. After you heard what that the ship never arrived, and we did go to see Twin Towers. I think before that, Malachi did try to in, the identify the daggers or, or the magical loot. Oh, yeah. yeah, but but first there was a person waiting for you in Shirebrook, a, a Chancellor Angus Landslide. I think yeah, I think we met with him after. After, after he okay. identified, uh, he tried to identify the daggers. Both failed. Of course, they failed. Yep. Um, by the way, by now we know uh, what they are because it, you told you guys. It, Somebody posted it in the Hardcore Heroes. Oh, yeah, channel. episode, yeah. Really? Uh, I don't I know. Mean, the characters don't know. Uh, probably you don't remember, but uh, we as players know what they are. Um, yeah. Do you, you really? Do you trust what someone posted in that thread? Uh, I didn't I, see I it, but I, I was I... Clip, you told you told uh, Sean and Nick what they were. They were plus three daggers of throwing. Um, yeah, anyway, um, he managed to identify the rest of the amulet. He managed to rob from a grave. From a tomb in Shirebrook, I think. Oh yeah. And Nothing. the yeah. He, he discovered that the magic, the steel axe uh, from Zinli was magical, so it had has some magical bonus. Um, and he gave that to Coin. And I. Um, so we went and spoke to um, <coughs> Landslide or whatever the the Count's Chancellor was called. Yeah. And he told us that we have to go and go to New Fort ASAP to go and um, talk to the Count. I think he's a little bit upset that we. Didn't arrest Tyrus. I, th I think he was more upset that we left Shirebrook before his uh, his delegation arrived. Yeah. Well, either way, 
he was quite short tempered about it. That'll be the first yeah. of many dwarf puns this episode. I don't <laughs> need to laugh at all of them, but some would be nice. Um, then at Rohana had a message for me that some wizard in a red robe named Venlin wanted to meet me in one of the taverns in town. This caused quite a furor of excitement. Evidently, yeah. since Venlin was the antagonist from the very first episode. So we went to meet with Venlin, and he proved to be even more elusive than could ever have been imagined. In that he was literally an illusion? Well, <laughs> did, that, that's been bandied about. I don't I don't uh, support that theory. But turns out he's an agent of the Queen. And, you know, his story doesn't make 100% sense. Because apparently he was trying to poison Twin Tower's wife all that time ago because the Queen really doesn't like Twin Tower. And now he wants me to dispose Twin Tower. And it's like, why is the Hand of the Queen so concerned about this like local lord who's not even a yeah, baron. I mean, a... I mean, he he t uh, kind of told you why because he would be terrible as a baron. He is a bad person. He hits. Yeah, his mom. But, he, but he was in Shire yeah. all those months ago trying to make his wife ugly. Yeah, it's hard to imagine an agent mm. of the queen was like, "I'm just making an ugly potion so that she learns her her place." It's important for this minor noble in this small town that nobody cares <laughs> yeah. about. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> we we don't like him because he beats his wife, so we're gonna punish him by making his wife ugly. <laughs> Seems a bit harsh, <laughs> but anyway, I told him that I'd do it if he made if the queen made me Baron <laughs> of Shirebrook as the reward, since he didn't seem too concerned with who was in charge. He agreed. So whether he's actually in with the queen or not, or what's going on with him, I don't know. But uh, I, I don't, uh, I don't know if he agreed. He was. I think he was amused by the idea, but he never said, "Yeah, we do it. You will be Baron." Well, he, he said he couldn't confirm it without yeah, speaking to the queen. That's yeah. what he said. But it I mean, sounded all pretty positive from my end. If uh, he is a, an agent of the Queen, to be honest, we yeah. don't know. And then, uh, so, we're leaving for Newfort in the morning to answer to Baron Ironhide, uh, Count Ironhide. But before we left, I polymorphed into the Baron's sleeping chambers early in the morning, yep. turned into an imp, and cast Lesser Gaius on him to make him make Malachi the Baron of Shirebrook. I think your exact words were that he used everything in his power to make Malachi the wizard Baron yeah. of Shirebrook. That's right, yeah. One thing that you might want to know going forward for future Gias is, is it specifically says on forget that you can't yeah. remove a Gias with it, but it, you can make them forget who cast it. I did see that. Um, the, the imp thing kind of circumnavigates that. But, a little. You know, yeah. You know, whatever. It is what it is. I, I mean, I assume he's going to know. But yeah. then that's yeah. where we are. I mean, if he tries to get you arrested, he's probably going to get some bad headaches. Mm. <laughs> also, he doesn't know it was you. It was an imp. It could have been a dream. Yeah. yeah. Could have been my familiar or something. I don't know. But there we are. We're getting ready mm. to leave for Newport in the morning. Yeah. Okay. I don't think there's anything else to go over. So it is November 29th. It is a Tuesday. And what do you guys want to do around town? I know that Kine has a few things yeah, to get I, around on. I want to go to Van and ask him, Hey, um, Van, do you mind if we uh, have a quick sparing session? I want to use how this X uh, does. Malachi said it's magical, but well, I can't say how magical. Yes, uh, similar, similar, I think. Sure. Van says as he grabs his spell list for the day. <laughs> I is. mean, I was looking for it. Before uh, before you guys start fighting, I'll interrupt. Say, Van, um, how long will it take us to get to Newfort? We'll get there by the night if we leave this morning. I have a uh, we we can push the horses hard. I have some magic for that. I've been doing some uh, some sort of research uh, last night and this morning, and I haven't slept properly. I'd prefer if we could make camp before we get to Newfort. Uh, is it so you can memorize new spells before we meet the Baron? Because we could just stay in the inn overnight. Yeah, but who knows if uh, you know who knows how angry he is? He might drag us. He might just try, might drag us right there. Well, we can talk about uh, what we would tell the count uh, in the wagon. Sure, I, I think it's always safer to sleep in town. But um, well, let's worry about it later. Yeah, right, I'm gonna go and walk around the keep or something. I will. Uh, I'll spend the morning walking around the keep. 
So I don't know, Neil. Do you do you want us to roll, or can we just say? Yeah, I, I think we did. We did some rolls last time. So let's. Yeah. Uh, I have nineteen AC. All right. I mean, can I can I strike him without hurting him? Sure. Try to not hurt. Yeah. You can you do uh, uh, non-lethal damage like, is minus four yeah, to hit. It's half. Okay. Um, and a quarter is real. The rest is temporary. Something like that. So how does temporary HP recover? Like every minute, you gain one back. Oh, okay. I think. So I have plus one only with some magical shenanigans in the background. All right. What's your AC, Sean? Seven. 19. Oh, uh, yeah, 19. Seven is a hit. <laughs> um, My plus 15 magic battle axe. Nope. Keep going. <laughs> Miss. Seven. Miss. <laughs> Uh, 17. Miss, but you knock a charge off of his stone skin. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, Van oh, just he... kind of like stabs himself with a scimitar a couple times to get rid of his stone skin. We know it's plus one now, anyway. No, because uh, uh, yeah, hitting the armor... stone skin makes it an auto miss. Yeah. So Van gets rid of his stone skin and says, All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Six. <laughs> 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 13. You know, Kind, you could really do to work on your form a little bit. I... <laughs> you have to get all the bad rolls all the way for today. <laughs> 17. No. Okay. It's a plus one. It's a yeah. Plus one. All right. I guess we can stop now, Neil. It's a plus yeah. one. Okay. Fan does not get hit a single time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stop. Not stop. very uh, magical. It's kind another of thing I want sword. to switch over to is uh, Van wants to go and buy a small shield in town. <laughs> oh, God. Um, actually, you guys don't really know if it's plus one. It might not have a magical bonus. It might have yes. uh, that's what you said other properties. The, uh, you, you said that it had a magical bonus to hit. When oh, they okay, all... never mind then. Sure, it's plus yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> but um van wants to go and buy a small shield uh you can purchase a small shield for the listed price cool let me i'll grab that really fast and just mark it myself but for those in chat wondering why i would switch to a small shield i found out i've been marking my armor weight wrong and if i get a lighter shield i can actually go unencumbered uh, also i can use a small shield while casting spells three gold five pounds <laughs> Um, oh, also there are new character sheets if you guys want to uh, transfer your stats and stuff over to a, oh, wait, a wait, wait. sheet that will automatically calculate your encumbrance for you, including your coin encumbrance. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, it's the we new two-point kneel sheet, which I know we're not doing mm -hmm. two-point kneel, but the only thing that really changed on that is stats. You should uh, have like a, a store. I'd recommend a storage section for that too, because I have some things that I always keep in the chest and don't carry on my person, but I have them marked on my sheet. There's the additional the notes a... on the back. Okay. I feel like it's that's cool. that's kind of a catch-all. I'll probably whatever. do it. Yeah, you could probably just add it in yourself, I guess, mm -hmm. if you ever needed to like carry it yourself. Yeah. The autofill is really good. Uh, I have exactly, I am carrying exactly sixty <laughs> pounds, which is exactly on the border to medium. I'm still light and combat. <laughs> Yeah, if I go with my weapon, armor, sh shield, and a bow and some arrows, I can be exactly on the border for no encumbrance. Oh, and I have now a, and I have a sweet tracking of 16, because I'm level 6 now. Mm. Plus 2 bonus now to it. Are you counting your the weight of your coins and wealth, Van Helsing? Uh, I keep all that in the chest. Okay. I mean, it, uh, the sheet does it for you, right? How much yeah. coins weigh? No. 50 to the uh, pound. Pound per 50, yeah. Yeah. That's why, um, yeah, it's. I, I keep all that in the chest. That was why I got a chest to keep all, or hit all my gold in Malachi's house in the first place. Mm. I couldn't carry hundreds of gold coins on me. <laughs> um, okay, one thing I would like to do um, can I exchange some coins in town before we go? Sure. What uh, is it? Anything important? Sixty gold to three mithril coins. You cannot trade for mithril coins. What? No, those are not available. You can trade for silver or copper or gold without having to worry about it. But platinum, mithril, uh, those are difficult. You could probably change to iron if you wanted. Those are fairly frequent. Iron is less worth than gold, right? Yes. Uh, it's what? Two gold to two iron to the gold. 
Why would I? Oh wait, are steel coins the ones that are worth more than gold? Then uh, all the economy got shifted around. Steel and iron coins are the same. Same same. Oh okay. Yeah. Well, I want to reduce my weight in coins, so oh. I don't really want to change to iron then. <laughs> So, uh, you've changed your... You're not changing any coins. You bought yourself a shield. Yep. You guys are all ready to rock and roll. Is there anything else you guys want to yeah. do before you take off? Uh, Van brings Chester up to Malachi and asks if he has a wizard lock available. I do not, but I shall, um, you know, I'll bear in mind. All right. Neil, do I see anything unusual around the keep this morning in my leisurely stroll? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. nope. Looks pretty normal. All right, I'll, I'll make my way back after I f figure that uh, Kine and Van have finished beating each other up. <laughs> so, By the way, uh, Bastion, you can store your gold as gems. It's you'll lose a little bit of value from it, but it's, uh, I mean, uh, it's probably I only not have bad. Sixty feet gold right now, so it's not uh, worth it. Is um, does Bastion have? Sorry, does does Kine have stone skin? Yes. Is that right now? Bastion has. I think so. Yes, yeah, so Malachi and Kine have. Uh, I do not. Skins. <laughs> okay. Not anymore. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I'll I'll nod to Van and say, "What happened to your?" Uh, your oh, it was it was necessary for the uh, for practicing with Kine's new axe. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't think if I'd gotten rid of it myself, if he would have even been able to uh, to knock it off himself. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. Really need to work on that new. I, I know you're new to an axe, but you really need to uh, to work on your form. It's a little it's a little bit messy. <laughs> He's not quite the great warrior that you are, but there's no need to shame him. <laughs> um, well, next time, next time we're in town or something, I'll refresh it. All right. Right then, let's. Uh, Jeeves. Well, I guess. Wait, are we gonna take Jeeves? I mean, he's kind of already retired, but. Well, you, you told him that we would uh, maybe hire someone to bring him to Tessel when we return from Newfort. Yeah, yes. we were we we're talking about doing it after we got back. So, do you think maybe we could uh, rope Jeeves into taking us to Newfort, or should we go on foot? Well, oh, course, we could. We, we could have Jeeves do it. Oh, yeah. but we don't have a carriage. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I, maybe we should just leave Jeeves here and walk. Sure. I mean, he, you, you gave him some spending money. He'll uh, he'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be all right. Some spending money, just a little bit. Look, if he wants to live out his final years high as a kite, that's up to him. Yeah. <laughs> that, gold, that gold I gave him will either last him like 20 years of a normal life or one year of a life that'll kill him after one year. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's um, head out on foot then. That seems a little bit dangerous, but you know. Uh, no, I thought we were going to get a carriage. Can, yeah, we, we that was the plan. That's why oh, I took okay. unfailing endurance. All right, go on then. <laughs> so we, we hired a carriage driver. We actually arranged for this in advance to right. uh, take us on this morning uh, after his meeting with Venlin. Yeah. That sounds and, uh, vaguely familiar. I'll, I'll, I believe you. Yeah. And then um, Van has unfailing endurance and will cast it on the carriage driver, both horses, and then Kain, Malachi, and himself. Okay. And you guys can make it to New Fort in a day if you push into the night. Cool. Um, and then, uh, oh, I guess I um, added. I also cast on Chester since I have, I have a seven. Yeah. Target. You cast unfailing endurance on a chest, on an inanimate <laughs> object. Look, I'm trying to humanize him. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to make a mimic out of him. Um, oh. During cute. Uh, during the uh, trouble to doing the tr yeah doing the trouble to New Fort. Um, Kind of eventually speaks up. We should talk about. Uh, we should talk about uh, what we will tell the count. Well, um, I think uh, this one's kind of on Van Helsing and yourself, since you're the two that wanted to uh, disobey the count in the first place. I mean, I, I mean, don't know if he's going to do anything. But... You wanted to leave town yourself, Malachi. I mean, uh, I, think... I would have traded him in. I mean, if it. Guys, I think guys. I think he's mad about us leaving, not about Tyrus. Hey guys, what do we do? I think leaving. I don't know how we will take it. We did uh, one of the jobs. Yeah, I um. The main I'll, I'll talk is, to him. But uh, I, I the think thing is, we have to get our story straight first. I mean, if he if he knows about us talking to Tyrus, I mean, we were in his office after all, and people were could see us. 
And I mean, if he knows about that, what do we tell him? Kind of, I can handle that that story for the Baron. What um, and what tell what we do tell need though. Gonna, tell us what you're gonna say though. Just yeah. in case he addresses any of us directly about it. Of course, we weren't going to attack Tyrus in town. He was with his, his ranger friends. Most of the town guard was there in his office with him. We'd be fools to try and fight him there. Even we were trying we to lure did, him out of town I would so we could capture him when he was on his own. Mm. I would have ended up killing them all if we'd have fought him in town. That's no good. So, yeah. We... So, we wanted to lure him outside of town so we could capture him when he was on his own. So yeah. And aside from that, that, that would also be serve to explain why we left early. We knew that he had yeah. left town and we chased after him. Yeah, it could be a good story. Um, so where did where did we chase him? I mean, we could, to Rockwave. We, yeah, we could tell him that uh, we learned that he jumped on a boat to Rockwave. I, I can explain why things took us so long. It's mm-hmm. don't worry about those details. Okay. Well, as long as you have your story straight. I do, but beyond that, I think we need to uh, consider the possibility that he might not be so uh, so forgiving, and we might need to consider. We will not kill him. You know, we're, we're alone in this carriage, I assume, right? Yeah, the carriage driver's out front. You probably can't hear your conversation over the outsword noises and the bumping, the, the horses. Okay. Yeah. Let, let, let's be clear here, uh, Kain. If he tries to arrest us, I will kill him. You can, no. no. <laughs> we, well, you can, we can just... Malachi. Look, we'll, we'll we only kill just... whoever's necessary, but if he does try to arrest us, we will defend ourselves. Yeah. We can just run. And you, you have you. Whip. Uh, however, people it could kill. Look, the last we could just people, run out. We could just last, run out of out of the keep, and you wept the whole place. And the, no last, one can leave. the last people he tried to arrest <clears throat> ran out of the city. You know, I mean, if I was I him, think I'd have some might, sort of contingency plan. That's true. He might have he might have made some changes to prevent a second instance of that happening. I mean, Malakai, you can you can change it into a flying horse. I don't think we have problems getting out of the city. I don't think you can carry both of us. Yeah, I'm not worried about myself. No, I, I think taking the... Uh, look, let, look, it's a bit grim, but we might... Hopefully things don't turn violent in the first place, but I, th- I think we need to take some magic that could uh, cause some heavy damage just in case. Neil, how well... When we were in his throne room last time, mm-hmm. does, he keep, does he keep a lot of men with him? Or was he pretty chill? He had his, <laughs> um, a knight next to him, a dwarven knight. Okay. Probably the captain of his guard. And then there were a few other soldiers standing around. There were a few behind the throne. There were a few near the door. Yeah. So there uh, were a few inside, ex- but it wasn't like... Yeah, you didn't have it an wasn't exact like an, head count. Yeah, he didn't have like a small army with him. He no, just had he like didn't. a small um, personal guard. But he, So this is a, a count's um, court. So there are yeah. other mm-hmm. nobles around, and though some of those nobles that are in the room might be knights. Um, they're not like right. wearing their armor and stuff, but you have a whole bunch of fancy nobles that hang around the court to... Mm-hmm be involved in the politics um so some of them might be fighters some of them might be knights uh many of them are probably just normal civilians uh right but there were not a ton of obviously armed guards what about his captain did the was that did they look badass or it was a dwarf in plate mail steel plate mail oh, okay so relatively relatively badass for most people yeah definitely definitely badass uh, van i think one spell you should have is that um, that one that lets you uh, freedom of movement is it or something like that. Reaction. Yeah, because if I had to, if I do end up casting the web spell, then you'd still be able to. Would you be able to cast it beforehand? Uh, it it would only happen. last for a short while, but if you gave me a brief a brief moment to cast a spell, that uh. Well, I was that hoping. Could work. Tell you what, I'll give you a I'll give you a code word. Let's let's think of a code word. If I say the code word, that's the spell I plan to cast. All dwarves must die. <laughs> <laughs> Something a little quicker and maybe less less egregious. Um, I am not for killing the count. It makes us not better than the cultists we were killing. How about fucking dwarves? Does that work? That works for me. Well, kind. Then, what do you intend to do? Should we be arrested? We can just run. I mean, if you, unless sure. Is, kind, I don't want to run. kill you. You can just wrap the place. Nobody would be able to follow us. But you wouldn't be able to move out. I mean, you would be can, trapped in the web too. We can we can try to stay on. Let's see, if I remember correctly, the we can try to stay on the side of the door, the main door. Once uh, Van Schultz, right, that, 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 that's not going to work because we're going to be standing in front of him in the middle of the throne room. Exactly. Neil, did, Neil where did he stand the last time? Who? The last time? Uh, 
Where, were, where did we stand in his courtroom? You guys. Last okay. Time? So there's the the doors behind you. There's the mm. dais up front of you, and you have walked part way there. Um, yeah. I mean, you could easily get there in a round of combat, but the captain of his guard stands just beside and behind him. So he would. You know, there's no way you could get to the count before the captain of the guard. No, I think he was talking the back door. How? Yeah. how far back oh, oh, the, the main door behind you. Yeah. Um, not too terribly far. Uh, yeah, the but room it's... is not that big. I think the room was probably like 80 feet by 40 feet or something like that. Right. So it's it, we would still enter the room, right? Like we'd be decidedly inside the room, not just sitting by the door. Yes, you would definitely be in the middle of the room. Okay. Also, if, if a room is this big, that big, I think you should be able to cast web without hitting us, maybe? Well, look. By 40 feet? Thing is, though, Kai, I'm not comfortable leaving this guy alive if he wants us dead. And if we cast a spell on him and all his guard and then flee a city, like, a second, if that's already happened to him once and it happens twice, he's going to be so pissed off, he's going to stop at nothing. That's so true. Feels dead then. Listen, no. I mean, at yeah. the same time, Malachi, we're going to be in the same boat if we kill him. I, yes. I would like to kill as few people as possible getting out of yeah. this. I, but if, if we need to kill people to get out of that situation, if, then we'll do it. That's all I'm, that's all I'm I saying. Mean, I, I need you to say that you're prepared to fight. Malachi, I am prepared to fight. I'm not prepared to just murder the Count because he's hanging back in the room and says to arrest us. If guards no. get in our way escaping and uh, there's no other way, then yes, I will fight. You're I will not to make, just run. Start to I make will... me nervous, honestly. It's like this thing with the Griffins all over again. Don't worry about it, Malachi. We're look. Our, our primary objective is going to be to escape. I figure if we if we were to do something drastic, like kill the Count, we'd be in much deeper shit than if we just ran away. All right. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm not coming back for you a second time. If you get stuck there. You're on your own. <laughs> the fan just stays silent after that. <laughs> just kind of just kind of leans back. It's, it's their issue. Washes his hands well, of it. Malachi, I did not expect uh, much from you. I ignore him. And we both, both glare. <laughs> <laughs> so, Van, how about it? Van pulls out the Dwarven Diary and starts reading some of the entries. Too bad we can't play chess. Glaring at Matt. No, it's a little too bumpy on the road for that, I feel. <laughs> can we can we sleep before we get there? We could always sleep. Why don't we just get an? I, I say we just get an in-room. Like I don't think our our arrival is going to be announced by trumpets. We just show up the next day. All right. Tell you what, Malachi, I'll I'll nap you as soon as you get into the in-room. You'll be done in an hour. So we just uh, travel the rest of the uh, the rest of the journey in silence and awkward silence. <laughs> the the awkward the silence continues. There's no monsters to peacefully break it up for you. Uh, <laughs> your your driver keeps driving the horses the whole time. At some yep. point, he you know, pokes his head back and through a window and goes, "This this is amazing. The horses just keep going. They don't even look tired." Yeah, if you uh, it'll last you, for about the rest of the week. So if you um, do you want a job? Any... <laughs> uh, I, I think I have a slightly more stable employment myself right now, but. Tell you what, if you get any other jobs for the rest of the week, you should uh, you can push the horses pretty hard. It'll last about seven days. Sweet Martha's bosom, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and he kicks the horses into going a little bit faster. You guys eventually arrive to New Fort. Um, as you're coming in through the main gate, you see that someone is painting a sign that looks like it's going to be hung over the gate. You can't quite see what it says yet. Um, who hmm. kind can you read? No. no. So I can Ma read multiple languages. So Malachi and Van Helsing, you can read the first part of the sign. It just says it, IT. Maybe there's more coming to it. Um, we'll see. Uh, Kine, could you ask what the uh, the rest of that sign says? <laughs> okay, I <laughs> exit the carriage. Go to the guy painting the sign. Excuse me. Uh, so no, they're like on top of the gate, like painting the okay. sign. They're coming down from. Oh, so yeah, you yell up to them. That's fine. Yeah, yeah you can yeah. yell up to them. Excuse me. What is it? What uh, will the sign say once you're finished? Ah, oh, we're we're trying to promote a new festival in town. Uh, mm -hmm. The sign's gonna read, "It's happening in New Fort." We're gonna spread through <laughs> the whole land. It's gonna be great. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> And what will be happening? 
there's a festival in town, don't you know? No, what kind of festival? Oh, it's going to be the greatest festival ever. We're going to bring in all sorts of vegetables from all over the place, and we're going to just have the greatest cook-off. Mm, some nice roast swan. That seems a little <laughs> bizarre. Probably chicken. <laughs> no, you're probably right. Sounds delicious. And mm. I go back to the carriage. Okay. All right. Uh, why don't we take our first break now that you guys are here in Newfort, and we'll see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye.